Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Today's video was actually filmed last year in September of 2022 on a Gleaner Combine demo. We had a Gleaner S98, a used one with a used 40 foot, uh, 240 Airflex Honeybee, and we were combining some flax. The first little clip I'm going to show you, that was a little bit of the setting. So if you are combining flax, it might be a start point as well as whenever I show that monitor, make sure you're paying attention to where the fuel is and what the fuel's burning on that cleaner combine because it's pretty incredible. And also, of course, my little micro USB that I had for my drone, I lost it last fall. So all my <laughs> harvest videos and my harvest drone videos are gone from last year, sadly. So I'm going to throw in uh, my buddy Joel's combine and uh, that's the Gleaner combine that you see picking up the flax swaths. But I'll say no more. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, it is hot out here. It's 29 degrees Celsius on September 28th. That's crazy. Perfect combining weather. Perfect to get the last bit of crop into the bin. Yeah, can't ask for anything better in harvest. Like, that's awesome. And then, here's that straw. It's a green spot, you can tell. Wet and damp. That's really damp learning about and getting out and looking at the flax it is really really cool so essentially you have these balls and inside these balls you have your flax if you blow it away and there we can see all of our flax seed the one thing with this flax is the stalks are like wire. Honestly, it is just like mechanic wire. Put it up to 2.6 and complete game changer. So we're just here with this Gleaner S98 and we're gonna be going into some flax. So we're gonna be going to drop the straw. So we came here, we had our 916 wrench, taking out these two bolts. And then this chopper or the spinner is gonna drop and go straight out. The straw is gonna come and drop in a nice little windrow right there onto the ground. We go up into this panel, into our engine compartment. We have our rotor cage open, or our cylinder door, I don't know what you call it. And we loosen up this bolt with a three quarter inch wrench. And this is actually our knives. So we loosen it, make sure we don't take it off all the way. And then this sometimes get a little bit stuck. Got to bang it down, disengage the knives all the way, retract them all the way. We can see the knives right there just by pushing it all the way down. Cinch that bolt nice and tight and we should be good to drop straw. So then, yeah, this is all there is to it. Take that chaff spinner off with two bolts and then the owner's manual it's all found in here but that's all there is to it for dropping straw we can see 
the straw that we're drop, dropping in these little windrows. There's that tough flax straw. And it's just nicely in these little penciled windrows. Make it nice and easy for baling. You might have to bob and weave and zigzag a bit when you're baling. But it's all there and it's doing a good job of putting it out. We got a little bit of fine tuning we could maybe do in this flax but not horrible for the first time ever setting a gleaner in flax so maybe close up sieve a little bit and see what happens I think we might just have to turn the wind up a little bit. We got nothing but chaff. Sitting on that top, or that bottom sieve here. So, just turn up the fan a bit and see what happens. Exactly. Because then there's more product getting thrown down. So we just tweaked the fan a little bit, put it up to 2.6 and complete game changer. <laughs> Here we are with a nice full hopper of flax and look at that sample it's cleaner with the gleaner dropping our little pencil windrows and this is a nice flax field all things considering Trying to block the sun a little bit. Like that's awesome. It's nice too. We were looking at that screen right here. To be able to see how full it is. Close up our ladder. Just unloading into the truck. Look at that flax. That is incredible. that cross auger
and then yeah, you'll just flip it forward, and then you'll have to stop, and then we'll roll it back once everything stops. It'll take a little bit to get it yeah. to go. Yep, and then you roll it backwards. <laughs> so he's just rocking that switch backwards. Now we'll engage it forward. That slip cut is quiet, eh? Hey? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Here's that straw. It's a green spot, you can tell. Wet and damp. That's really damp. So then if we stop and we start digging around and we're looking, can't see a whole heck of a lot. Nothing in those. That one got a little bit. So this is actually my first time ever combining flax. I have seen it get combined a couple times um, and I've ridden in a couple combines, but actually paying attention and focusing and learning about it and getting out and looking at the flax, it is really, really cool. So essentially you have these balls and inside these balls, you have your flax. If you blow it away, there is your flax seed. And there we can see all of our flax seed. The one thing with this flax is the stalks are like wire 
honestly it is just like mechanic wire it doesn't really it doesn't decompose very well this stuff mainly guys are dropping straw and baling it and then they're using those bales uh, for wind breaks their wet years they're putting them or selling them to rms and rms are putting them beside roads uh, to help keep water out as water breaks uh, and then some guys are using it for bedding for their cows and yeah it's some really nasty straw not a heck of a lot you can do with it uh, but it's it's sure cool to see it getting combined and see those little windrows of flax straw getting dropped out just because my so you know that my arm's behind there for a reason <laughs> But we just broke a section on the knife, got it somewhat fixed up. Of course, my guards were the wrong guards, um, but we made some work. So he's just gonna combine for about another hour till they're finished. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about that gleaner, uh, about the gleaner and har uh, harvesting flax or anything that you might have questions about let me know in the comments down below and i will get back to you uh, but thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video enjoy this harvest sunset <laughs>